Imagine you're at school right now. You've had a great day. No one's bothered you. It's a Friday. And you only have one hour left until you go home. But knowing you have to be in this one class for one hour just kills your mood. So you went from someone that was all happy to be here in school who someone to someone who's just ready to go, wants to go home, doesn't even want to deal with it. For a lot of people, that class is math. And in this math class, you would always hear people say, wow, I hate this class. What's the point of math? Is math even used in our everyday life? Well, I, wa I wasn't as different as that kid. As a child, I was like every other child. I hated school. I would always come up with some dumb excuse not to go. Sadly, my parents wouldn't fall for it. But I guess that's a good thing because I needed school. Let's just say I wasn't the brightest kid. I would, all, I would never get a grade that satisfied me. I'd always get 60s or 70s never really passed the class, never really understood the subject. Finally, getting into the seventh grade, I had this one teacher. Her name was Ms. G. She was the, the sweetest person ever. The thing I liked about her was that she encouraged us to learn math. She actually made math fun. So I went from someone who hated math wanted nothing to do with math, to someone who actually enjoys it and would think about pursuing it in the nearby future. So I ask, why is it that so many people hate math? Why is it that so many people think that math is not used in our everyday life? Because it is, you just don't notice it. A clock, we all know what a clock is, right? It gives you time, but how would you know how to read a clock if you didn't know math? Or your phone, we all have one, or if not, some type of electronic. They need to be charged to work, don't they? Yes. So, and they all charge differently. Mine may charge for 30 minutes and only be at 50%, while hers can charge for 15 minutes and be at 75. Okay, let's say you're late to go somewhere, work. You only have 20 minutes. You're gonna use 15 of those 20 minutes to charge your phone. And you'll know how much you'll charge because you're doing this in your head. This is you doing math in your head. Or what about social media? Snapchat, Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, we all have one. And what's important about those social medias? What's most important? The likes, the viewers, the followers. Those numbers are very important for certain people. It means popularity, friends. So as a person, you would calculate when you would post a certain picture. Let's say I just took a nice selfie and I want to post it. I want to post it at 12 o'clock because I actually want people to see it. So I'd post it like around five or six where I know people are up and on their phones. This is you doing math in your head. This is you doing math in your head. But math isn't just being used in your house or in your phones. Math is everywhere. By everywhere, I mean your community, your city, your state, your country, your world. Math is like the cradle of all creation. 
Without it, the world wouldn't function as it does. It keeps our lives orderly and prevents chaos. So why hate it? Without it, you wouldn't have the great food that you eat. Math has a big effect on cooks because they use math to measure ingredients or to do the simplest things like set a stove. Or what about a carpenter or an architect who uses math to build the buildings you see, to build the ones you stand in, your home? They use math to build those. Or a shopkeeper who uses math to count money or to stock up on supplies. Y'all want to know something? So I was researching something the other day, and I came across this website. It, was, it, it stated something about bugs or insects, and it was talking about, it was talking about how we're not the only ones that use math. Did you know bugs use math too? Or insects? And you're probably asking, how can a little bug use math? Well, they use patterns. They, a spider. We all know what a spider is. The little creepy bugs. Mm. They use, they use lengths, because they have to make their web. They use the length of each branch to make the little length of the web. Then they also use the width and the height and everything like that. They also make its little patterns. Or a bee who makes its hive out of hexagon shapes. As I'm still in the topic of patterns, let's talk about math being compared to music. I was mind blown and surprised that I haven't noticed this before because it was so obvious. Musical pieces are read just like math symbols. The symbols represent bits of information about the musical piece. They're divided in sections called measures or bars because each embodies a different amount of time. The measure, each measure is divided into equal amounts of time. These are, all these are all mathematical divisions of time. So, we've talked about math being used in our everyday life with a clock, with your phones. So why is it that so many people say they hate math? Is it because they struggle in it? Is it because they just don't like the subject at all? And why is it that they say that math is not used in our everyday life? So I ask you today, you say you hate math, but do you really? Thank you.